when it comes to Ibn Abdul Wahhab and, and the charges of extreme chain takfir and allegations of war crimes being perpetrated and whatnot, for me, with the relatively little I've read from both sides, I was personally not able to comfortably, definitively, and holistically choose a single side in this debate. And that will frustrate many people who have. And wallahi al-azim, I swear, it's not my intention to frustrate anybody. Look, you speak to a sympathizer and defender of Ibn Abdul Wahab, and you see what he has to say. Um, his perspective is, uh, you know, is uh, Ibn Abdul Wahab and his followers were, were preaching peacefully, and they were harassed and kicked out of towns and had rulings of takfir and tabdir issued against them. Um, they were incited against. There were calls to have them killed. Um, they were attacked first, and, and they initially fought out of self-defense. Um, it is not true that Ibn Abdul Wahhab made takfir of most of the ummah. Um, in fact, Ibn Abdul Wahhab has explicit statements where he said that he does not believe that the majority of the ummah are, are guilty of shirk. It is, it is not true that Ibn Abdul Wahhab said that the ummah uh, does not know uh, the meaning of la ilaha illallah. Rather, he was only referring to a specific region, the region of Arald, in, in, which was a part of Najd, which is a part of Najd, and in, particu in particular reference to, 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 uh, uh, to the Bedouins. And, 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 and there are other statements from non-Najdis which confirm just how bad and rampant uh, deviancy was in the region. Um, um, uh, Ibn Abdul Wahhab and his followers um, uh, attacked towns which reneged on, on, uh, on their peace treaty with them and sought to kill their preachers and they used their towns as political centers of resistance against him and his followers. Um, um, uh, you, you know, they had no choice but to expand and grow um, uh, militarily because it was necessary for them to gain strength and solidify their borders and, 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 uh, you know, because they knew that if they didn't do that that they would eventually be crushed and eliminated, etc., etc., etc. Those are the kinds of arguments sympathizers and, and defenders of Ibn Abdul Wahhab put forth. And then the other side speaks 